Hey guys, we're gonna run it back and let's run it back. He definitely have has on the type of shorts that you know you can carry anything in those type of shorts, man. It looked like they got some good pockets on them. Okay, now now here's a lady coming to intervene. I don't know if she knows the the young guys or, or what, but she's coming to intervene and tell this guy to get the hell on. But um, you you hear the guy screaming for the culture. I want you to remember that. I want you to hear that he's screaming for the culture. He did everything. He's this close to screaming world star. This close, but he's not screaming world star. He's screaming for the culture. Um, you gonna be doing all this hyping and surrounding man at least like you looking through the camera you looking through the lens you 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 hyping you you being the hype man all this with it you know you you want to like the loudest ones like you know what i'm saying make sure you pay attention to what that man doing with his hands like make sure you pay attention to what he like he, he this man out here uh, uh assassin like <laughs> Look, they laughing and, 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 and playing and giggling. And now, you know, now that the whole frenzy has started, now you're seeing the the the, the push. And then, oh. Okay, this is the guy that had the camera. Oh. Um, Um, my name is Jawan Cockfield. How do you spell your last name? C O C K F I E L D. How do you spell your first name? J A W A H N. Uh, how old are you? Uh, I'm 19 years old. Are you uh, 19? Student or is it working? Or? Yeah, I'm a student. Where are you oh. student at? St. John's University. Now, what kind of activities are you involved in at St. John's? I'm a member of the football team and the wrestling team. And I uh, study global business. That's your major field? Yeah. Are <clears throat> uh, you familiar with a person named Isaac Schumann? Yeah. How did you know Isaac? Isaac's one of my best friends. How long have you known him? Uh, since middle school. Uh, what were you uh, with Isaac when uh, he was killed? Yes, I was. So there's a took that day. Mm -hmm. I didn't even see him I pull it out. Is that your voice sort of narrating what's going on? Yes. Uh, was that you saying uh, for the culture? Yes, sir. What is that? Uh, I guess it's kind of like for the greater good. It's like a new saying, I guess. Uh, sort of street slang. Yeah. Um, are you aware now that your video shows him? Yes. Yes. Yeah, sure. You didn't see the time? No. None of them saw the knife. None of them saw the knife. It's like they were clueless, man. These kids get the plan, man, and get the laughing and joking and stuff like, and they didn't pay attention to the knife, you know, because they were more interested in the whatever that was, but they didn't pay attention to the knife. Does this also get your video? Yes. Uh, what have you seen that in that uh, still? I see him holding his knife. If you had seen Dang. while you were recording the video holding that knife, what would you have done? I mean, in that still, you see clear as day him holding that knife, man. And it got a blade on it, man. Then they're going to ask him if he saw the knife, what would he do, man? It was like objection sub sustained. Like, what you mean what I'm, what, what I would have did, man? You making me re relive this trauma. So you, did you, were you kind of over by your tube still? I was still on my tube until Maddie came running over. It was after she said that he punched me, he punched me, and I started looking at her face, and um, and then literally within seconds, you know, the boys were coming at me, and I was trying to assess their injuries and trying to make sense of it all, you know, in mere moments. Did you see anything on Maddie's face of injury? Yeah, I mean, her eye was red and swollen. Like, so. dang, just imagine this guy's dilemma, man. His first his wife coming over to him like, man, this guy punched me in the eye. Then he like, whoa, he enraged about this. Then before he can even set out the hand of that, he got the boys coming at him with knife wounds, man. That had to be crazy. Like, he's just like processing. Um, AJ's injuries were so severe. 
And I hate to admit it, but I was worried about my son, Tony, and my son, Tony, was taking care of AJ, and there was nothing going to pull Tony off of AJ. Dang, so one of his boys was, like, tending to his brother, and he was worried about that one that was tending to the brother that uh, wounds was extremely severe, but he was worried about the one that was worried about the one with the other wounds. So it was like, man, that was that was a lot, man. A knife is a very stealthy weapon. It's a sneaky attack weapon. So um, do I think the guy felt like he was attacked? Yeah, why? I mean, he's getting surrounded. He hit the water. He's in water. He gets punched. He get punched again. Do I feel like that was pressure? Yeah, that was pressure. But I think with a deadly weapon like a knife, your first instinct don't got to be for the mortal wound. I know a lot of you going to be like, man, forget that, man. You know, you hit me. You put your hands on me, man. I'm I'm, I'm going to kill. We like all of that. Man. But, man, this is a group of kids. Then you got the woman like he don't punch the lady you know you know he was wrong for that you know what i'm saying because you know he would have had to deal with the husband if he ain't had that knife you know and he pulled out the knife and he just started going for the he started jugging on everybody i think he could have menaced it i think he could have been menacing with the knife i think he could have he could have displayed it and, and and was like hey hey everybody get back you know like a scene out of the movies the husband would have hey y'all leave this guy alone everybody hey y'all leave this guy alone and that would have been that he wouldn't have had to kill nobody he wouldn't have had to be on trial he wouldn't have had to stab nobody else man because one of them other kids could have died man that was sheer terror man he took a lot of people through a lot of trauma including himself um but yeah that's uh nah man i think um you know in, in a lot of situations where i think you know you can you can kind of like you know kind of hold him back i think with, with the group of who he was dealing with i think they would have with the threat of the knife they would have got back but he was holding it in such a way where he was like you know you you couldn't really see it he needed to extend that thing and have that thing out but let me know what you guys think you know um what do you think? Do you think the guy was 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 in his line of self defense? Do you think uh, the the kids should have just moved on? Do you think it was excessive the way he went? Cause five people, but you know, let me let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. We out.